everybody welcome back to another tutorial today we are going to be working on a surround a bow to go around the twisted boutique bow um, we will not be doing this one this one was just a spare one that I had to show you guys what we were going to be working on um, you will need a few supplies you will need your needle and thread You'll need lighter scissors. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to be working with 3 8 inch ribbon. And you will also need your Brilliant Bow Maker 3.25 inch surround template as we are going to be putting it on a 4 inch twisted boutique bow. Now, to get started, um, if I'm doing the you know this off of rolls or spools, I don't bother cutting it because um, it says you can use 24 inches of ribbon. I don't bother with that. I just do it straight off of the uh, rolls or spools. Um, in the end, it wastes a little bit less ribbon, so you'll see me not cutting it and just going right in with it, and that's why. Um, I recommend two ribbons. It gives the uh, surround a little bit more stability. You're going to want to check, make sure your ends are even, which this one is not. If you can see, it's a little wonky, so we're going to trim it up. Same with that one. And just heat seal the ends. Get them lined up. The one on the top will be the outside of your surround a bow, so bear that in mind. Whatever is on the inside will just be the extra ribbon. You can double it up and do the same ribbon on both if you want. I just happen to have a 50 yard roll of um, white 3 8 so we're going to be using that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really quick, you will also need um, just a little clip. You actually don't need it, it just comes in handy, it's an extra hand, basically. Line it up on your template. I start from the top left corner. And... Take it from the top left, wind it around the back to the top right, bring it down to the bottom left, wind it back around to the top left. So you should have this at the present moment. This is where this clip comes in handy. I just slide it in to hold, and that way I can let go of this, and I don't have to try to hold on to this as I'm turning the template. It's not needed, it just gives an extra little hand, which is helpful. So, you're up at the top left, bring it down, as you can see, to the bottom right. Wind it around to the opposite side, bring it up to the top right, as you can see right here, and then take that along the back to the bottom of that side, and bring it back up to your starting point on the top left. pull the clip off, bring it in, clip it, and this way everything is together. This is what the back of your surround is going to look like. This will be the back, and this will be the part that shows. And then of course this is just the inside. This is a really good time to fidget with your ribbon if you happen to see anything that is crooked. You can see there's a lot of purple there that you shouldn't be able to see. So 
Sometimes it'll move. Sometimes it's the best you can get. <laughs> All right. And then you are just going to sew up all of your surround. Your stitches don't have to be perfect because nobody is going to see these stitches. These are kind of just hidden stitches. Just make sure that when you sew, you are catching all of the layers. Okay, so we've hit this portion now. What I do is I go from here over to here. I don't, however, pull tight. I take that needle, push it up through the center right there, and that'll bring it, theoretically, it should bring it up in the center, in the midst of that loop. And then I take the thread, wrap it around a needle, and I wrap it around the needle a couple of times. And pull tight. That's how I cut it out, tied off. Um, and sometimes you will get a jumble of thread right there, as you can see. If you've watched enough of my videos, you know this happens to me for whatever reason. It's just a matter of pulling one thread and then the other to work out that jumble. This is why I use the upholstery thread because you can really yank on it and as you can see my fingers I yanked on it really hard but this is why I use the upholstery thread. You can yank on it and it doesn't break. point you can take the clip pull it out I clip so that it is even even with the bottom of this ribbon so like that I'm gonna heat seal that and then heat seal those. If you notice there's no trimming up of extra um, ribbon so we're not wasting any. We are using exactly what we need and not wasting any at all so I try to keep what I throw out to a minimum. And here you go. If you notice you have um, like slight creasing in the ribbon what I do is I take my pair of scissors, kind of like curling, uh, the, the curling ribbon that you put on like presents and balloons. It's along that same principle. You're just going to run the scissors inside the loop. And if you notice, there is no more crease. And I do this with every loop just to guarantee that there are no creases inside of it. So as you can see, these three have no creasing. This one still does, as you can see. And there you go. You have a really pretty surround bow and it goes right over your twisted boutique bow 
I will be doing a video on um, a full bow updated with all of the pieces for a boutique bow. Uh, keep an eye out for that. It should be coming shortly. I'm going to try to film all of the videos today required for it. Uh, as I'm filming now, I have two that are ready to upload and I have a couple of more to upload once I edit. I'm going to try to get out videos on a more regular basis while we are all um, stuck in our homes with the current health issues that are going on. I don't say the C word because um, YouTube apparently does not like hearing that word. So I am avoiding saying that word. Um, but I should hopefully have all of the pieces for the Boutique Bow filmed today so that I can edit them and upload them. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it in the comment box down there. And if you have any tutorial requests, again, leave them in the comment box down below. If you have not subscribed to the channel already, I don't know why you haven't, because I'm pretty sure you've watched several of my videos, please feel free to click the subscribe button somewhere around here. Right next to it, click the bell notification, set your notification to all so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. I'm going to be doing a huge 500 subscriber giveaway, which will happen as soon as we hit 500 subscribers. I will be showing the prize that will be given out for one lucky subscriber in a coming video. So please check it out. Make sure to subscribe so that you are a part of that giveaway. Thank you guys for tuning in and have a wonderful day. Bye.